If you are lucky enough to score a PlayStation 5, then you know how quickly the internal 825 gigabytes of storage fills up. That's where the Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink comes in to alleviate that space crunch that you may be feeling. And if you're not feeling it, you eventually will. Before we get into this install walkthrough, full disclosure, Samsung reached out to me and was kind enough to sponsor this video. They also provided this awesome NVMe storage SSD so I can walk you through the installation process on the PlayStation 5. With that out of the way, the Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink is a PCIe 4.0 NVMe solid state storage option that comes in either one or two terabytes. This drive is a true PCIe 4.0 NVMe storage device that delivers speeds up to 7,000 megabytes of sequential reads and 5,100 megabytes of sequential writes. The 980 Pro with heatsink meets all stated requirements to expand the PlayStation 5 storage. The 980 Pro with heatsink is the ideal storage solution for heavy computing, high resolution graphics, and PC gaming. So you can use it in a bunch of different use cases. But in this specific instance, we're going to be expanding the storage for more games on the PlayStation 5. So with that said, you're not limited to only using this drive in the PS5. So on to the physical design of the drive. The integrated heatsink dissipates heat to maintain speed, allow for power efficiency, and manage thermals. So you do not have to worry about overheating your PlayStation 5 or PC. This is an important aspect of the drive because at those rates of data transfer over sustained usage uh, generates quite a bit of heat. This drive is designed from the inside out to manage thermals appropriately. In addition to the physical heatsink, Samsung has built in Dynamic Thermal Guard. It's a software within the 980 Pro's firmware that helps maintain heat dissipation. Long story short, you'll never have to worry about overheating issues or damaging your hardware in any way. Before you take on this easy install task yourself, there's a couple of things you're gonna need access to or have. Make sure you're in a well-lit area. Have a standard number one Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. And finally, you have a stable surface, desk, table, or even directly on the floor available to you. Some other items to note as well. If this is your first time installing the 980 Pro with heatsink in your PlayStation 5, it's fine. But if it's not, you're gonna be required to format that drive after installing it. So when you format the 980 Pro within the PlayStation 5, any data saved on that drive is erased. Data erased this way cannot be recovered. So be careful and make sure you don't erase important data on your 980 Pro with heatsink. But in this video, we shouldn't have to worry about this now because as it is, it's straight out the box and it's a brand new Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink. NVMe SSD ready for install. Another thing to keep in mind that towards the end of this video, never turn off power while your 980 Pro with heatsink is being formatted. Doing so may cause data loss, corruption, or may even damage your 980 Pro with heatsink. And finally, you should never use an M.2 SSD in the PlayStation 5 without a heat dissipation mechanism. Thankfully, the 980 Pro with heatsink is built and packaged just the way it needs to be for installation. All right, let's do this. Step one and probably the most obvious is turn off the console. Then remove all cables and devices from your PS5. One thing to keep in mind is if you've been playing for a while prior to attempting this install, you're gonna wanna wait a bit for your PS5 to cool down. Step two, remove the vertical stand if you have it installed. Place your PS5 on a flat, stable surface with the PS logo facing down and the power button facing away from you. Step three is to remove the cover that is facing up. You're gonna use your right hand to grip the edge of the bottom right hand corner while you use your left hand to grip the edge of the top left corner, then gently lift the cover with your right hand as you're pushing to slide the cover off of your PS5. Be careful to not overly exert your sliding motion of the cover to avoid scratching the inside of the console's body. It's a simple and easy removal task, but the first time you do it, it's kind of nerve wracking. So just take your time, be careful, and lift slowly as you push at the same time, and the cover will lift away easily. At this point, before we move on to the next step and we start touching internals of your PS5, make sure you touch a metal grounded object to remove any static electricity from your body. You could risk damaging your 980 Pro with heatsink or the PS5 during the install process. Step four, with the cover removed, you'll see a long rectangular stamped aluminum cover protecting the expansion slot that is held in place with one PlayStation customized screw at the top of it. Remove the cover screw from the expansion slot using your number one Phillips screwdriver and also pull out the cover itself. Step five, with the expansion port exposed, you'll notice an M.2 SSD retention screw and spacer that are held in place under the cover. 
Carefully remove the screw and spacer. Be careful not to drop the screw into the slot or the spacer as well. So take your time here and just be careful with it. You'll notice the expansion port has designated slots for different sized SSD expansion drives. In the case of the 980 Pro with heatsink, it comes in at a 80 millimeter length. Therefore, at this point, place the spacer within the hole marked 80. Step six, with the spacer in its correct placement, insert the 980 Pro with heatsink within the expansion slot by aligning the notch on the drive with the available expansion connector with the Samsung label facing up. You'll insert the drive in an upward angle and then firmly insert it all the way in. Be careful during this time as you're pushing it down. It should slide into place pretty easily. The 980 Pro with heatsink will rest flush in the expansion port on the spacer while you grab the retention screw in preparation of securing it in place. This is one of the beauties of the 980 Pro with heatsink. It fits perfectly within the expansion slot and you don't have to worry about running into fitment issues. Step seven, now we're ready to put this thing back together. Reattach the expansion slot cover and re-secure the PlayStation screw. By reinstalling the cover and positioning it slightly on top of the edge and sliding it back into place, you're gonna hear a click as the cover is secured. You're now ready to connect your power cords and cables and all of that goodness. And if you are using the vertical base, you can reinstall it at this time as well. Now you're ready to power on your PlayStation 5. When your PS5 console turns on for the first time, the formatting guide appears. Follow the on-screen instructions and format your 980 Pro with heatsink. I'm not gonna walk you through the specific steps of this because they change with system updates as time goes on. The good thing about the PS5 is that it won't let you progress to the game startup screen without preparing your 980 Pro with heatsink for game installation. After that's done, you're ready to start using the drive. With Samsung's 980 Pro with heatsink, you're able to move your game files freely between the internal storage and the 980 Pro and not notice a difference in your gaming experience. The 980 Pro with heatsink delivers peak performance while expanding your PS5 storage availability. Gone are the days of having to choose what games you keep on your system or having to move it to a USB expanded storage and then back again when you wanna play that game again. Now you have a bunch of space available to you and you shouldn't have any problems. Like I mentioned before, the 980 Pro with heatsink comes in two variants, a one terabyte and a two terabyte option and is 250 or 450 USD respectively. Hit the link in the description to get the details on current pricing and availability. Keep in mind, the link in the description is a part of this Samsung sponsorship on this video. So clicking that link and making purchases through it helps me a ton because it's recognition of their selection of me as part of a sponsorship program. It shows that they made the right decision in reaching out to collaborate with me. So if you go and purchase through that route, thanks a ton in advance. One final note on pricing, Samsung also offers uh, discount pricing for education education, first responders, government, and military. So if you fall into one of those categories, make sure you check out those discounts on their website. I think I've met all the requirements for disclosing everything and the partnership that I've realized with Samsung here with this video. So with that said, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.